Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Ex-Navy sailor pardoned by Trump just got immediate revenge on Hillary. No recovering from this. And today we are happy to report that President Trump has once again done what he promised. A former Navy sailor who was one of five people to receive a pardon from President Donald Trump last week is now planning to file a lawsuit against Obama administration officials for not offering him equal protection under the law. Christian Saucier, who served a year in federal prison just for taking photos of classified sections of a submarine on which he worked has now made the argument that the same officials who handed out punishment are the ones who chose to be lenient with Hillary Clinton when it comes to her use of a private email server and handling of classified information. Saucier's attorney, Ronald Daigle confirmed to Fox News today that the lawsuit which will be filed soon in Manhattan will name the U.S. Department of Justice, former FBI Director James Comey and former President Barack Obama along with many others as defendants. Here is more on this via Fox News. They interpreted the law in my case to say it was criminal, Saucier told Fox News, referring to prosecuting authorities in his case, but they didn't prosecute Hillary Clinton. Hillary is still walking free. Two guys on my ship did the same thing and weren't treated as criminals. We want them to correct the wrong." Daigle said that a notice about the pending lawsuit was sent to the Department of Justice and others included in it in December. There is usually a six-month period that must lapse before the lawsuit actually is filed. We'll highlight the differences in the way Hillary Clinton was prosecuted and how my client was prosecuted, Daigle said. We are seeking to cast a light on this to show that there's a two-tier justice system and we want it to be corrected. While campaigning. And after taking office, Trump frequently voiced support for Saucier, who in March became the second person he pardoned. Trump often compared the Obama administration's handling of Saucier's case with that of Clinton. Saucier, who lives in Vermont, pleaded guilty in 2016 to taking photos inside the USS Alexandria while it was stationed in Groton, Connecticut, in 2009. He said he only wanted service mementos. But federal prosecutors argued he was a disgruntled sailor who had put national security at risk by taking photos showing the submarine's propulsion system and reactor compartment and then obstructed justice by destroying a laptop and camera. Saucier said that he recognized he had erred in taking the photos, which he said he wanted to show only to his family to show them where he worked. But he lashed out at Obama officials, saying that his prosecution was politically motivated, prompted by sensitivity about classified information amid the scandal involving Clinton's emails. My case was usually something handled by military courts, he said. They used me as an example because of, the backlash over, Hillary Clinton. Saucier, 31, said that the pardon has enabled him to pick up the pieces and rebuild his life with his wife and young daughter. A felony conviction left him scrambling to find work, he finally landed a job collecting garbage. Now, he works on design and engineering projects for an industrial boiler company. Things are starting to go in the right direction. Saucier said. I work with a group of really great people, I get to use my skills set. Because of the loss of income during his imprisonment, as well as earning below his potential when he collected garbage, he and his wife Sadie lost their home to foreclosure. Debt collectors called and his cars were repossessed. With a pardon there's no magic wand that gets waved and makes everything right, he said, but I try to stay positive and look forward. He praises the pardons that Trump has granted after his and takes exception at the criticism. The Obama administration singled out Dinesh for things most people don't even get charged for, Saucier said. President Trump noticed that my career was exemplary and that I didn't deserve what happened to me. Conservative commentator Dinesh D'Souza, who was pardoned by Trump last week, had pleaded guilty to campaign finance fraud. Trump tweeted Thursday, we'll be giving a full pardon to Dinesh D'Souza today. He was treated very unfairly by our government. D'Souza was sentenced in 2014 to five years of probation after he pleaded guilty to violating federal election law by making illegal contributions to a U.S. Senate campaign in the names of others. This might actually be the straw that breaks the camel's back when it comes to the corruption of the Barack Hussein Obama administration. They put a young man, who didn't know any better, in jail for taking a picture but they let a traitor which very well could be responsible for the death of over 50 of our troops go because he in his mental condition decided to have a sex change operation. And let's not even mention all the lawlessness the Obama administration let Hillary Clinton get away with. It will be great to see how all this plays out, maybe this will open a few eyes and start the ball rolling so we can finally see people from the DNC crime syndicate put behind bars, and I don't mean a few no-name people who they will pick as fall guys, time to see Comey, Obama, and Hillary as cellmates. 
That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.